first chef makes me hungry, and now hundred foot journey makes me hungry? What the hell? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review The 100 Foot Journey. So, The 100 Foot Journey is from Lassie Hallstrom, who is the director for Chocolate, which I keep hearing is good, Salmon Fishing and the Yemen, I really like that film, but also directed a couple of movies that I don't hate, but just didn't care for, which are Dear John and Safe. Haven. And it is produced by Steven Spielberg and Oprah Winfrey. So this film is about the Kadam family that moves into France where Helen Murren plays this madam that has her French restaurant. The Kadam family have their own restaurant across the street from Helen Murren's restaurant and for a while Madame and Papa they have their little banter back and forth with the whole restaurant thing. The Kadam family seems to really grow on the Madame and the Madame wants to take Hassan, the son, who is very good at cooking, to come to her French restaurant and learn about the fine art of cooking. So going into the 100 foot journey, I was really interested in seeing this film because I really enjoy movies that are about cooking. I mean, one of my favorite films of 2014 is Chef. I thought that was a fantastic film. I loved almost every moment just watching this movie. All the performances are really good. Helen Murren, Om Buri, those are the only actors I'm familiar with, but they both did a really good job. Om Buri plays Papa, and he's the one that has banter with the madam. That, that's one of the comedic aspects of the film. It just added fun elements to the 100 foot journey. Not only that, but I really cared about each of the characters. The madam, even though she seems like this rude and bitter person, she actually has a heart in her. And it's really interesting to see the film go that route. And to also see the madam be pretty close with the Kadam family that moves across the street having their own restaurant. The food in this movie looks delicious. Seriously, every time I look at the food, I just get really hungry. It's like Chef, where your mouth is just watering with, oh, I want to eat something right now because of how delicious the food looks. Everyone does a really good job bringing their characters to life, and you could tell there was a lot of heart and passion into a film like this. The cinematography for the movie looks beautiful. There were some shots that looked so beautiful that it took my breath away. It was so relaxing to look at. Every shot in The 100 Foot Journey. The execution for the film is good too and this is a film that I thought combined comedy and heartfelt drama together so well. When there is comedy, it hits for the most part. It gets a little cheesy, yes, I admit that, but it's cheesy in that good and fun type of way. And then there's a drama where it's nothing like too, too serious, but it's like one of those heartfelt dramas. It really is such a joy just to watch a film like this, a film that has a relaxing storyline, that has great characters to care about, very good execution, beautiful cinematography, I can just sit down and relax to this film. Now I did have a flaw with this film particularly towards the end. In my opinion the final act of the film while still very good isn't quite as engaging as the rest of the movie was. The film itself just wasn't quite sure where to go with this anymore. So it's all like they got a little lost in the final act of the film and I do gotta say the final act of the film does get a little dragged in my opinion. It does feel a little slow and you could see a mile away how they were gonna end this film. The 100 Foot Journey is a wonderful movie to see. It's a shame that not a lot of people are gonna see this film. It's a shame that it's not gonna do all that well in the box office, but at least I can say I saw this film and I'm very happy 
to pay to see a film like this. In my opinion, it is worth seeing. If you love films about cooking, 100% go see The 100 Foot Journey. I give this film 3.5 out of 4 stars. Yeah, it's just a very well made film in my opinion. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!